What's up guys, let me take you on a road trip to Olkaria Geothermal Power Plant. So we are starting this trip um, from Kenjan and this is just us driving down the road to where the um, power plant is. So it's basically inside um, Hell's Gate National Park. And this is where electricity or power is generated in Kenya. This is the biggest, I don't know if it's the only one, power plant in Kenya. Um, as you can see on our way, we can see Lake Naivasha just on the other side of the road. Beautiful scenery, the hills, the trees, and then you can see the water from the lake. You can see the green vegetation and so beautiful, breathtaking really. Very therapeutic, especially if you need to get out um, and, you know, get yourself some relaxation mode. And there's so many things you can do here. They also have the geothermal spa where you can go and swim and relax. So yeah, this is not about the spa. I hope you have checked out my video on the geothermal spa in the same Olkaria um, place where we are going. So this is just us approaching the gate right now. And you do have to pay to enter this place because um, the Olkaria geothermal spa as well as the geothermal power plant is located within um, Hellscape National Park as I have mentioned. So this is um, this place is guarded by KWS, Kenya Wildlife Service. Yeah. So they make sure that they collect a few coins for you coming to see their place and you know enjoying this smoke that comes from underground and swimming in the geothermal spa. What's up guys? We are in Olkaria Geothermal Power Plant, eh? Mrs. G's video. So we want to go and see the spa and then for cars they'll make you pay for the car, then they'll make you pay as an adult and then for kids. So for adults it's 300 bob um, and then for kids it's 215 Kenya shillings. Well, that's the cost as per the date that we went um, to this place around December 2022 so the the steam the steam coming from underground guys I don't even know how this um, this works but I'm hoping I learn today I learn a lot of things today so as you can see you can come here um, for cycling so you can cycle around the park um, or the national park Hellscape National Park as you sightsee and then yeah as you can see where we are right now, you can see some smoke coming from underground. Basically what this is, is the smoke or the steam that generates the power. So just a description of what geothermal electricity is. For some of us who didn't know or just finding out about this right now, it uses steam to produce electricity. So geothermal power plants use steam to produce electricity. The steam comes from reservoirs of hot water found a few miles or more below the Earth's surface. So what this basically means is that wherever we are in this place, there's hot water um, underground or within the Earth's surface. It might be very close or very deep down. I don't know, only geologists um, in Kenya will know how far the hot water is in this part of um, the park. So yeah, they use this um, hot water to generate the steam. I don't know if the steam is generated. You guys, please clarify because I'm not a, an expert on this. I'm also doing my own research. It's also best for you to do your own research just to get the um, facts on what this really is, this natural wonder is. Yeah, so you'll see a lot of steam coming out from different parts of these hills and this is where they now get the steam to generate power and that is supplied to the whole of Kenya. Imagine that. How magical is that? So let's just continue um, with our trip or with our journey as we see these huge pipes and these pipes that you see along the road or along the way are the ones that are um, carrying the steam from underground. Once they have dug a hole into the ground, they now collect the steam and use these huge, huge thick pipes which are coated with I don't know what and um, so it makes them not so hot so you can actually touch the surface but within or inside the pipe it's so hot that if you were to put your hand 
it will literally melt. But because of human safety and the animal safety, these animals living in this area, they need to coat these pipes and with. I don't know what they use, you guys. So yeah, just to protect us from not getting burnt by the steam. So this is the steam that is now taken to the different power plants. So this place is so old that there's different stages. So you'll see some power plants are older than others and depending on when they were opened or when they started generating power from those plants. So the more they dig, the more they get steam, the more the, more the Kenyan population that needs power grows, the more they have to generate or create more power plants for Kenyans. So yeah, you'll see some power plants are very old, some are literally new, and there's, you know, you'll see the difference, you guys, as you drive along. I'm gonna keep quiet from here and just let you guys admire this place. And yeah, enjoy this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not, like the video, share it so that more people can learn about this natural wonder that God created in Kenya. I don't know if in your country you have geothermal power, um, if you use geothermal or hydropower because in Swaziland, I know for sure we use hydroelectricity, which we generate from the dam called Lupotlo Dam. Yeah, so I don't know how, how it works in your country. Let me know in the comment section. I'd really, really love to hear from you guys. I'll keep quiet from here. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Long place. interesting I've never seen I've never seen such eh? in Swaziland we make power from 
water, hydro, whatever, hydro, whatever they call it. Um, but here they use steam. Can I only say your steam? It is cool. I don't want to use your pipes. Supported, yeah? What? Oh, in a in a